Greetings my little pog champs. I have heard through the grapevine that you are having difficulty completing the video game Dark Souls Uno, released in the year I do not recall. So, in my virulent wisdom, I have decided to create this here guide, just for you. First of all, and foremost of all, we have to create the ultimate life form. So here it is. You should make sure we get the skull cap exactly right for the extra secret stats. We pick the Pyromancer because he starts at level 1, giving us the most room to cook. We obviously take some bombs. I used to be gay, but then I went to school. <laughs> Give this guy in particular the hands, not the guy back there, and not this guy. You look at these walls here, man. Hello, lady. For the next couple of days, this leg will be known as Christmas, and this leg will be known as New Year's. So, ladies, why don't y'all come visit the Big Valboski between the holidays? Proceed to bomb the dump truck. We get big hammer. Now the damage isn't the best, but it tries. Punch this guy to get loot. It's the only way to get it. Some bellend trying to make me gay. <laughs> Probably leave. And while you're at it, this hammer sucks, so just leave it. Go to Albania, you despicable neo communist moralizers. Fight the Mean Street Posse and leave that shiny. It's optional and for an optional area. That's a double optional, and we don't fuck with that. We're out here to beat the game, doing as little as possible. Stroll through town, kill this shiny rat, and go through the mist. Kill the JFK snipers, plural, and bomb this dude's jungle. Agree to the terms and conditions, twice, and get murked by a berserk reference. Use the berserk reference to farm souls, and spend them on a repair box and arrows to shoot the reference. After buying the nice man's words, bomb him. He drops the worst item in the game, so just leave it here. Ideally, just don't even pick it up. Shoot the non-fluffy tail and get the best weapon in the game. Now some deck soy boys will say this item's bad because it doesn't scale. But that's the best part. Now we can purely focus on the big bar build. We kill this bozo with the best weapon in the game, fight some racks, try for the board rip but it gets incinerated in the flame, run away, test our resolve and decide you can do this. Get put in a montage and flee. Scale the thousand steps to save the princess but instead get big sword man. But this guy won't be a problem because we have the legendary Drake sword. Now this guy thinks he's top shit, but we will simply find the seal, but be broke. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Big scary man is actually mid. This guy uses his sick dance moves to buff everyone around him, except you. However, we will free this, then murder him for the ring of my favourite activity. The Gargoloins breathe fire, but for some reason they refuse to do anything else. Luckily for us, we have the Drake Sword. Well shit. Gargoloin Drip obtained. Ring Bell skip cutscene on accident and a third of the game is complete. You look retarded. But the people are retarded. You look dead. Now for the deaths. But first, we grind and buy the seal. Beat up Flatface, kill the environment, become sad. Find the man with the ballerina moveset, accidentally get the worst weapon in the game and promptly throw it in the trash where it belongs. 
grab the weed shield and never let it go. The seal allows us to open this gate. Admire the good game design and sing a campfire song. Take five steps into the forest and get mugged by the local homeless. Find out there's a parry button and lay the smack down on this guy in particular. Find out there's an attack button and lay the smack down on this guy in particular. We use the newly found hit tactic on the remaining three village people and commute with the funny cat. Monday left me broken. Walk past the bridge we'll, we'll and circle, circle back, back for the best armor in the game. I am now invulnerable to criticism. Now a quick detour, because you know I gotta get some fishing in. Never mind. We take the path next to the sealed door to get ambushed by vegetation. Waddle on and kill some snakes minding their own business. And then fight the butterfly. I don't know who you are or why you keep being mean to me, but you need to be nice to me right now. <laughs> now you may be wondering, Weren't we trying to do the least possible? Why are we fighting an optional boss? One. You can beat this boss in your sleep. You just walk and it can't hit you. Two. Don't question my authority. Go to Albania! We go back to the weed shield location and take this elevator. We are greeted by smaller, blue versions of the big red dragon. Smurf dragons, I would call them. They forgot to give them movesets, so they just breathe lightning for some reason. We decide to take a hike and use all our restraint to not pick up the shiny and awake the dragon. We enter shit town and the locals hate illegal aliens. I wonder where they got this idea from. I don't even know how to describe this thing. Local tribesmen shoot darts at us. I perish to Ligma and am sent back to enjoy another elevator ride. Revenge is exacted before subcoming again. After a shootout, I realise this was all pointless and jump on a spinny wheel. Shortly after, breaking our spine. Our back is broken. Spinal. Walk into this sewer and mash A like your life depends on it, and then proceed to level vitality. Now if your controller does not operate with the A button, get a better controller. A local throws a rock at me. She misses like a goon. And oh, but he's coming. Judging by the area, the boss is just going to be some big spider, so I'm probably just going to cut this out of the video. This is my favourite boss, and I think I'm just going to pause for a minute uh, just to admire the graphical quality of the game. Bait her away from her safe space and smack her with your rod. Congratulations, you are now a sex offender. Or maybe that's just me. Ringing the second bell causes this dude to actually do his job. Admire the smaller titties before killing her to anger the simp. Figure out how to leave. Kill me.
Yeah. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Why won't you answer? You can hear right now. I'm getting angry. Oh. Can't fuck the balls off. Oh. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. All the goodwill from the titties is now gone. Why? After trying to find an exit for nearly two hours, I simply went back the way I came. I meant to do that. Man, you won't believe the shit I've seen. One of which was just a dead version of you. Accidentally hit the blacksmith, tabbing back into the game. Commit a game end on him. Regret. Or take in a little parkour and catfish a big craw. Now I know this is optional, but it's for a good cause. Avoid the floor because it triggers a boss fight and it's mid as fuck. Now remember when we parried that one guy? Do that again. H hey man, no hard feelings. I used to be gay, but then I went to school. Okay, if you think I won't lay the smack down on you, you've got another thing coming. Some felon trying to make me gay. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Oh, I don't want this shit. Give it a rest lads, I'm doing something. Now remember when we parried that two guy? Do that again. I have officially cooked mid. I ain't going back. Use the key we got from killing the butterfly. Remember that? To open this door under the bridge where we bombed the demon's balls. Remember that? This is the battleground for the world's slowest fight. Alright, enough of that and it's time for progression. You may notice, the sword has officially fallen off. It ain't changing. I should be dead. I am dead. Now let me be real with you. This area sucks so I'm just gonna run past everything and fling myself into the bonfire but we're just gonna skip over that. Oh, and I ain't falling for this shit. I know my shinies. Again, we simply run through the area and get gangbanged at the boss room. I kill his friend and summon my own. Before playing Cook Simulator and watching Tarkus pound the boss from behind. When he actually decides to hit the boss. Some naked pygmies carry me to a big city where a gargoyle bullies me. Hop over here, and this segment is a cakewalk because I am a unit and the cake is inside. I obtain my third gargoyle tail, this time with no carve. Upon arriving at my destination, after 10 minutes of the worst PvP I've ever experienced, I began walking back. And no, I did not realise I just created a bridge so I could skip this whole section. Why God? As a result of the funny haha -ha doll we picked up at the prison, we can now be absorbed by modern art, the ultimate horror. I only just realised these things have faces. Go to Albania! Now again my main man, we're just gonna run through this whole area because it sucks. This fight was very well thought out. As you can see, it only has two attacks if you stand here, and one of them can't even hit you. And I'm sure for this remaster, that definitely wasn't just a cash grab. They'd fix the most commonly known glitch in the entire series. Huh? Now my destination is within arm's reach, and... Okay, this time. Why would you do this to me, man? I 
I tried to sneak through the door, man. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit's stuck. Out of my way, son! Door stuck! Door stuck! Please! Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me peek at them toes. You know, I started to grow disdain for this game. But goddamn, these assets are undeniable. Good remaster. I have seen things the regular man cannot even begin to fathom. Plunge down from the plank. Yes, Queen. I'll leave. Thank you, Mommy. Sing we now, sing for the year. Sing for the left and sing for the tear. Now, it's time. I don't know why this area is such a big deal, you just run in a straight line and then lay the smack down on this one guy. Terms and conditions, man! Wait, let me just level vitality real quick. Oh, baby, it's time! Oh, wait, wrong room. Sorry, man, I'll just be leaving now. After three minutes of the best PvP I've ever experienced, we continued on. Now we take a little detour. As a result of me making the blacksmith, I've been going through the whole game with an unupgraded weapon, so we will finally be able to upgrade it. One time. Also, these things look like Void from Berserk, and I've never seen anyone talk about that. Pretty neat. I know the bitch in there has a friend. So it's time for some jolly cooperation. Boobies. Where the fuck is Solar? Hello? Mr. Solar? Please help? Okay, you know what? I, I need to talk to him real quick. Send me back, man. Send me back. Someone's about to catch these hands. Yo, man. What the fuck? You need to get your head in the goddamn game or I'll make you like the others. This time, we kill the balls outside and make sure we don't get the your father treatment. But your father's dead. Fight back, nigga. Fight back, nigga. Fight that! Fight that! <laughs> it's finally time for my ultimate move. The Dragon Crusher Maximus. I hate you so much, man. Open up these pearly gates. And behold. Congratulations, my little pog champ. You have completed the game. Now some naysayers will say there's still half of the game left. But would you rather play through Lost Isolith or stir at these gahongas? Think wisely. And say it. <laughs> 